立特派员连续三个星期报道美国华盛顿州的爱尔华河流域拆除两座水坝的故事。今天要继续来看当地如何富裕自然生态，包括让鲑鱼重返原生地的过程。大自然的神奇奥妙令人叹为观止。There are already trees in the reservoir that are taller than me, and it's all, it's been less than two years since they started the dam removal. So, I think that we will see a young forest regrow very rapidly, and it will be mostly native species. Another channel. See the river's braiding and channeling. It's getting shallower and it's braiding and you know and and coming back together much more often. Now this is the way a river is supposed to be. Uh, it not, but we had just one deep channel through here before. A pilot has three different sets of. Navigational tools that he uses to find his way across the Pacific. Salmon do the same thing. So kids, kids think that they use the stars. Yes, they do. They actually do. It's amazing. Yeah. With all kinds of plants, animals, and plant material, workers are entering the Pacific Ocean to remove the debris. 爱华河大坝拆除后，大规模的植被复育行动也同步展开。Uh, scientists and biologists have come out here and collected seeds, collected cuttings from this valley, from this very valley, and then、um, grown those seeds into、uh, young plants that they're planting. 估计七年时间内，这要重新复育超过四十万株八十种不同种类的本土植物。We want to make sure that this is an ecosystem restoration. So there's a lot of、um, time and energy going into、um, preventing、uh, invasive plant species from moving in.、Uh, so we're、um, trying to get rid of、uh, non-native species and also introduce、um, native species. 爱华流域自从大坝拆除后，地形地貌正经历前所未有的剧烈变化。本土植被的富裕工作，面对许多未知变数，其实并不容易。The, in the lower reservoir, it will be harder because there it's a more disturbed ecosystem around it. In the upper reservoir, that's in the in the heart of the park, I think it's going to come back very quickly. 人类播下了种子，大自然接手运作。虽然大量土石淤积不是最好的生长环境，但小树苗已经展现强大的生命力。And what's really cool is what we're looking at, which is a young alder, which grew here right on its own. That was one of the things that we expected would happen, but we didn't know how soon it would be. And it's really cool to see these guys sprouting up. On other areas on the reservoir, they're a lot taller. They're already six feet tall. This is a tree that's native to this area. 长期以空拍记录地形地貌变化的科学家安迪说：“这就像一片森林在你面前形成。” We have watched the water draw down.、Uh, the vegetation is is springing up, and some of the web cameras that you can look at online show, you know, it's it's almost like a, a young forest appearing before your eyes. 华河流域植物富裕大军仰赖许多志工参与，其中很大一部分是印第安部落年轻人。他们组成的队伍经常在附近巡逻、施肥、除草，小心呵护这片失而复得的部落宝地。The Elwha tribe is very, very good in natural resources. We've had a habitat restoration crew working on the streams on the North Olympic. Peninsula since 1992. We're very good at teaching our children the importance of taking care of the resources. 富裕的重点当然还有鲑鱼。过去新建两座大坝，让鲑鱼群数量锐减。现在爱华河正在重新孕育适合鲑鱼群的生存环境。See the different channels. 
over there, over here. These are channels that didn't used to be here. Okay. This was just one main channel went through here. So after them we move? Then yeah, yeah, then it started spreading out and braiding. And then that's what it's supposed to do. See, you know, when you have fast moving stream like that area there, uh -huh. down there, that would probably be hard to spawn in, but you have back channels and side channels like this with a much slower water and gravel dropping out, they can spawn there. Indian people and the land are connected to the land. Indian grandfather Robert said that the nature is preparing to welcome the land home. Oh yeah, I mean we love it. I mean we know this river is coming back to its true physical form again. I mean all of the trees and stuff are the right trees. They've always been the right trees in this part of the river. But to have the sand and gravel, to have the braids, you know, we can feel that's right. <laughs> 要筑大河母亲一倍之地，部落也在河岸旁设置了木头工程区。这些大型漂流木可以减缓水速，帮助砂石沉淀，形成保护区，让鲑鱼在这儿休憩。In fast, like if you have fast currents and you have a, a log jam, a natural log jam, below that log jam, it'll be a place where fish can stop and rest and spawn. It'll gather right-sized gravel, smaller gravel, and so. You know that's uh, that's going to be important. 野生鲑鱼蓄势待发，返回原乡，准备繁衍更多的下一代。不过，因为目前爱尔华河的水质太过浑浊，部落也有鲑鱼养殖场，富裕濒临绝种的鲑鱼。养殖场里一格格的水箱是刚孵化的小鲑鱼，出生不久的鲑鱼群相当敏感。Okay, this is fish food right here, and you can see them start bubbling to the surface as you throw it out there. And this is to raise them to a certain size, then we move them outside into the bigger race. These are Alwa steelhead. Alwa naturals run steelhead. So they... and, and they're raised entirely in fresh water until they're adults, and then we spawn them. And it's a way to preserve the runs with the high sediment loads in the river. And so these are the only ones we raise to adults because they're endangered species, and it's back up because of the sediment in the river. 透过自然鲑鱼洄游和人工养殖，罗伯特希望能够重温以往鲑鱼丰收的时光。Fishing spots. We have other places upstream, but these are the most productive fishing spots. And this is where we fish. We have at least a half, six fishing spots that rotate among tribal members. We spend about two days at each spot. And so like 12 days completely at all six spots during the fishing season. And then different people rotate in to the fishery because you make quite a bit of money when there's a lot of fish coming in. And uh, some of the biggest runs we've had are probably six to 8,000 fish. With the river restored, we expect, run, expect runs of 30,000 fish. 过去鲑鱼数量锐减，甚至濒临绝种。部落主动提出了禁止过度捕捞鱼群的协议。未来鲑鱼逐渐富裕后，罗伯特希望年轻人可以和鲑鱼一样，重新回到部落。Doing what we did before, which is make a living fishing, and this um, the fishery. The return of the fisheries in this river will allow uh, a large increase in tribal income because we are allowed to harvest half of the harvestable fish. Two big dams are removed to restore the Alwa River's natural life cycle. The Alwa River has been a part of the past century, and it has inspired many people to rethink their relationship with nature and nature. 华盛顿州政府也决定拆除历史最悠久的鲑鱼孵育场溪流上方的水泥坝。And they get to this place, and most of them die here because they can't get past it. So now we got a million six hundred thousand dollars from the state government last year, and they're going to knock this down, and they're going to replace it with a series of boulders, big rocks. That will have different levels, so the fish will be able to jump over them, rest a little bit, jump over the next one, and then move on. 
。虽然水泥坝体很小，但兰迪说，要不是拆除爱尔华两座大坝的启发，他们争取多年的经费很难通过。这座鲑鱼孵育场主要养殖银鲑和奇努克国王鲑鱼，现在正是工作人员最忙碌的时候，他们要忙着帮刚孵化的鲑鱼捡鱼鳍。And what they're doing, as you can see, with these little tiny scissors, is they're cutting that fin off every single one of the more than two million fish that we will be putting in the creek in the next couple of days. So after this is done, the、uh, the fish are then put in the creek and sent on their way. 对于鲑鱼的富裕，其实一直有着不同论点和争议。二零一二年，有环保团体控告克拉拉姆部落和联邦机构的鲑鱼富裕场，认为他们以人工养殖濒临绝种的鲑鱼来加快富裕的脚步，反而会危及野生鲑鱼群的健康还有遗传多样性。官司目前仍在进行当中，而克拉拉姆部落决定不再孵化非本土种的鲑鱼。而中立富裕场捡鱼鳍的程序，也是为了和野生鲑鱼进行区分。Regulations say that if you catch a hatchery fish and it's missing this fin, and you know it's a hatchery fish, you may keep it. If you catch a fish and it has that fin, it means it's a wild fish, and you may not keep it. You have to put it back in the water. So this is a real significant effort to protect the wild fish. And to keep them in the system so they can try to spawn naturally. To get a salmon. 富裕场不止富裕鲑鱼，更是最佳的鲑鱼生态教育中心。Twin thousands of miles, all the way up here to southern Alaska, and they stay there for three or four years, and then some signal goes off in their head that says it's time to go home and make babies and die. So they turn around and they retrace the journey all the way back, and they find from Alaska they find the exact spot where they were born, and that is a a feat of navigation. Landy said, "If someone put him in the road on the way to Alaska, he would find a way home. He would certainly lose the direction." 究竟鲑鱼这种穿越太平洋、百分百精准的导航系统哪里来的呢？ So they know just instinctively how to go because the sensors on the side of their body, like sharks, have the, the sensors down their body and little iron deposits in their head, and they actually can sense the changes in the Earth's magnetic field. And at night, they can come up to the surface and see the constellations, pretty strange, and navigate like that. And then when they get close, when they get right in here, they can actually. The salmon has a sense of smell that is 250 times better than a dog. 已经有七十多年历史的鲑鱼富裕场，因为政府预算有限，几乎都仰赖民间职工和企业及民众的捐助，而这个鲑鱼银行更是大工程。We made this big salmon mail here into a bank. So visitors can come and kids can come and put money in there, and this money that's put into this bank is used for the volunteer organization for all the work that we do. So the kids love it; they can't believe that there's a fish bank, you know, instead of a piggy bank. So we just put the money in there and and take it out. Indian people's Suyan said, "Only in the last tree that falls, the last clean water is gone." Finally, the last piece of fish is gone. 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 Finally, the last pi